Hello everyone, Nathan here. Just wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look of what's involved with setting up the studio. Um, now clearly I don't actually work this fast, as much as I wish I did. Um, this is sped up about four speed, I think. Um, so yeah, it took about four times as long as this. Right now I'm actually looking for a piece of fabric which I did not find. However, I found it later, like after I had filmed everything, and was like, oh, there the fabric was I needed. Well, that's nice. A little late now. Uh, and you're probably wondering, why are you putting up this? It's actually a light blue, but you're probably wondering, why are you putting up a light blue piece if you're going to put the green fabric over it? Well, I have learned over, I don't know how many times we've done this now, that um, if you just hang the one sheet of green fabric up, you don't really get very good green color. Like right now, you can kind of see through this blue fabric and see the door frame from the closet and stuff. You want to have as solid of a color on your background as you can. Um, and now you're probably wondering, what's going on? There's absolutely nobody here. Yeah, I had to run downstairs and get more clothespins. Um, there's this little rope system, which if you've watched our... Uh, studio behind the scenes video. There's a video of that. Here I'm munching on some raisins and you're <laughs> like, what in the world is he doing moving his hand up and down? I'm trying to figure out what point the camera clips off at right here. Um, because this is in my bedroom, I'm pretty limited. I have, I don't know, I'm going to guess probably 12 feet from one wall to the other. So the camera can only be about 12 feet away. So I, it is physically impossible to get a relatively straight on shot that'll have my head and my feet it just it can't be done because of <laughs> I love the way I look doing this in four speed it's just funny um, but yeah I can't get my head and feet both in shot so here I'm kind of doubling the fabric up again because you want to have as solid of a background as possible so doing that kind of wrapping it around the corner there to try and get a little extra space which I ended up taking out later because it was creating wrinkles and those were going to cause issues when the time comes to actually do the chroma keying. So, yes, I do not have a large enough studio. I know this. However, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. So, we live with it. I'm sporting my t-shirt here from the company I work at. I won't say their name, but... You might be able to guess who it is. Um, that's another thing. Uh, throughout shooting, I try to change my shirt as much as I can. Because um, I don't want it to look like I'm just constantly shooting the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> Testing out the green screen there. Yeah. Classy, classy. Setting up the lights. But yeah, so I change my shirts quite often. And I found that I really don't have a lot of different shirts. A lot of my shirts are shirts that have company names on them and I don't really think I can use those in a Creative Commons film because I do not have permission from those companies to use their name. Just switching around the light bulb right here I have some true color lights that are 41k uh, actually it's 4100k but this will be natural lights also to give a pretty much accurate lighting representation of the sun. Here I'm talking about time stretching and how you get lower tones when you stretch it slower and higher tones when you squeeze it shorter. But there you go. And thanks for watching.